Well, hey, welcome back. We are so excited that you are here with us this week. My name is Brittany, and I'm just so excited to be with you all this week. This is week number four, and I cannot wait to just dive in. I have loved learning so much about how we are favored, how we are clean, and how we are chosen. It's just remarkable to see all the things that God has created us to be, and it's just so beautiful. And hey, I don't know where you are. I don't know if you put your little ones down and you've got 30 minutes of quiet time. I don't know if you're on your lunch break at work, or hey, maybe you're at your favorite coffee shop wherever you are and whomever you're with can we just take a couple of seconds and just to debrief and just say God have your way I'm so excited are you ready to jump in because it's a time to jump in now I want to tell you a funny story of how I conquered a serious fear of mine so it was a regular Monday morning I had my hat on I had my fake Birkenstocks that I got from Target because you know your girls on a budget and I had about a half a cup of coffee. I was ready to conquer the day. It was a Monday. I was like, this is gonna be my day. This is gonna be my day to conquer what it really is. I was super excited. As I was leaving my bedroom door, I realized that I didn't have my car keys. So I went back inside, got my car keys, and I had quickly glanced at the floor and I realized uh, something's not right here. Now in my house, we have dark hardwood floors and anything that's a bright color, you can see automatically. Well, I looked down and I was like, well, maybe it's just hair. Now, mind you, my sister does hair from our, in our home from time to time, and usually it just spots up, so sometimes it doesn't get cleaned up. So I'm thinking it's just hair. Well, as I kind of just put my foot over it, I realized it wasn't hair, it was a scorpion. I freaked out as anyone else would. It was scary. I don't like scorpions. I don't like creepy little things. They creep me out. Who likes scorpions? It's not, it's not what, no, no. So as any young millennial would do, I did this. I grabbed my phone, opened up Instagram, and I recorded a story because I wanted the world to know what I was dealing with today. And I was saying, not today, not on this Monday. And then I happened to call my mom and I said, mom, what am I supposed to do? There's a scorpion. And she says, Brittany, you're gonna have to kill it. I said, what now? No, I am not killing the scorpion. I am not equipped. I am not, I'm not adequate for this. I cannot kill a scorpion. No, first of all, they can kill you. Second of all, you can end up in an ER. And thirdly, that I mentioned they can kill you. I know I'm being a little dramatic, but that's okay. It's a scorpion. And she kept saying to me over and over, Brittany, you're gonna have to face your fear and you're gonna have to kill it. Now friend, I think that's what we're gonna have to do this week. I believe that this is gonna be a week of we're gonna have to conquer our fear. We're gonna have to face it head on and say, you know what, here it is. This is who I am, this is what I have, and I'm enough. So I want you to repeat these after me. I am enough. Who I am is enough. And what I do is enough and what I have is enough. Now, I don't know where, you're, where you are in your life, and I don't know what you struggle with, but I believe we all go through this, a feeling like we're just, we don't have it. We don't come up to par. Maybe you're a mom and you don't feed your kids the most organic food. They'll be fine, I promise you. Or maybe you're a wife and you don't do all the wife things that you're supposed to do. Or hey, maybe you're, you're even in college and you're trying to have this pristine GPA and you just can't make it. Can I just tell you, let me be the first one, what you bring to the table, what you carry, what you have, it's enough. God has equipped you, God has shaped you. You know, a really good friend of mine, she once told me, she said, Brittany, God does not call the equipped, he equips the called. Now that is something to wrestle with, so that's something to dive into. And if you need to hear it again, say it, I am enough. Now, when we did those repeatings of I am enough, who I am is enough, what I do is enough, and what I have is enough, I wanna ask you a couple of questions. Number one, did you say it? Did you really believe it? And two, can you really embrace that? Can you embrace that truth? Can you fully understand that, yeah, I'm enough? Now, I've had a couple of friends of mine ask me, hey, Britt, I think you should do this, or hey, I think you'd be really good at this, and I always feel like they are talking to the wrong person. I am not equipped, I am inadequate, I just can't come to par, and you know what? I've realized there are some great leaders in this Bible, in this word that we love, that felt like they weren't good enough, that felt like they weren't equipped enough, and they actually were some of the most incredible leaders. Now, one of those leaders I'm talking about is Moses. 
I love the story of Moses. Moses was a phenomenal leader. He was so close to God's heart. He loved to hear the word. He loved to be where, wherever God was, he wanted to be. Now, there's a, there's a part of the story of Moses where God is calling Moses to go back to Egypt to set the Israelites free. And if you know the story, you know that Pharaoh and Moses, they actually grew up together. They used to be brothers. And Moses fleed from there because he felt like he wasn't enough. But God was calling him back to the place where he felt like he was enough to prove and to show to him who I made you to be is enough. Now, God is telling Moses, I need you to go back. I need you to go back. And Moses is like pleading with God, take someone else. I can't do this. And Moses is saying, I can't, I just can't, I can't do it. And God's saying, but if you throw your staff, watch it turn into a snake. Or how about when you put your hand in your cloak pocket and you take it out, it's leprosy. But when you put it back in and then you take it out again, it comes out clean. How all these things happen, I don't know, but I believe it's the truth because it's the word. Now, if you have your Bibles, join with me to the book of Exodus chapter 4, verses 10 through 12. And I want to read this to you. It says, Moses said to the Lord, pardon your servant, Lord. I have never been eloquent neither in the past nor since you have spoken to your servant. I am slow of speech and tongue. The Lord said to him, who gave human beings their mouths? Who makes them deaf or mute? Who gives them sight or makes them blind? It is it not I, the Lord? Now go, I will help you speak and will teach you what to say. Now what I love about this is that God is willing to get in the boat with Moses. God is willing to be like, nope, I'm going to show you who you are because of who I am. And you know, it's not about what we are or who we're supposed to be. It's not about what we carry. It's about saying, I am who I am because of the great I am. What I have to carry, it's enough because God has made me enough. Friend, you are enough, mom. Your kids, they say that you are enough. Wife, you are enough. Daughter, sister, friend, you are just enough. Now, I want you to repeat this again with me and say, I am enough. What I do is enough. What I bring is enough. And what I carry is enough. Now, I also wanna tell you this. This is not something that is going to be easy for you to understand or even easy for you to believe. To be honest, to be truthful, to be candid with you, that's something that I still struggle with on a day-to-day -day basis. It's just the truth. But I believe what this is. I believe that God calls us enough and I want you to believe it too. But I also want you to know, it's okay if you don't get it right away. It's okay if you have to repeat these words over and over. If you have to write it in your mirror, if you have to put sticky notes all over your house, do whatever it is you have to do to really believe and take this in. You are enough. Let's pray. God, I just thank you so much for choosing us. I thank you so much, Lord, that you love us, God, that you have embraced us and that you call us as we are. Lord, would you just reveal the truth to us this week? Would you reveal the heartache, the just all the stuff, God, and would you show yourself faithful to us? Lord, we love you and we honor you and we praise you and we thank you for you have called us enough. Well, friend, I have enjoyed my time with you this week. It's going to be a great week and I can't wait to see you here next week.